Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be checking out the all new Samsung 27 inch 1440p plus 144 hertz space monitor. So I'm going to be setting this guy up. I just got it in, super excited. And we're going to be testing that alongside the HP 25X that you guys watched me unbox and test out in the last video. So let's dive in, let's check this baby out. Hey, thanks for watching the video today. This is the Samsung 27 inch LED 1440 display. Of course, I wouldn't be buying a monitor without getting one that's at least 144 Hertz or better. That's just how monitors are today. The price is getting lower and lower. And at this point, it's becoming the average in gaming and editing monitors. As the name implies, it's a space monitor and it's made to save space. Samsung claims it can save up to 40% of your desk space and I'm semi-convinced they're right. Except I probably won't be using it in the way that saves space. I know my last video was Samsung, but I promise this was more of an impulse buy. I have been keeping my eye on this monitor for a little while now because it was clear to me that it's an underdog in the world of gaming. And when I was at Best Buy looking for something completely different, it happened to be open box at 30% off its original price. That's a heck of a deal. Talking about heavily discounted, I have yet to see a full review on this monitor. It's sleek, it's made by Samsung, who arguably makes the best panels and packs three of the world's favorite features. It's a 27 inch wide format monitor, a quad HD 2560 by 1440 display, and it also packs 144 hertz refresh rate. Now, what sets it apart is the mounting the ability to adjust where the screen sits on the desk. The wire management in the back is extremely helpful and the menu is super easy to navigate with a joystick button. A couple of the important features are the near bezel-less display with three sides being edge to edge. It has a buttery smooth hinge that's extremely durable and extremely easy to mount. That mount is also padded so it won't damage your desk. But are all of these things important? That's what I wanted to explore. That's why I picked up this monitor today and I tested it on a few games and a little bit more for you guys to check out. So I chose Borderlands because it's a great game to use as an example of a good resolution. It has extremes in colors, good texture detail, and a fast paced shooter type game mode. And it's by far one of the most advanced in that arena right now in gaming. Now, if you notice the particles in the air, I know this is a small detail, but when I use a lower quality monitor, those texture details don't really come out in full. They tend to look like specks of dust and not really flares of light. I know that's subjective because it also takes a good graphics card to get that kind of detail, but that's what we're looking for and we're talking 1440p, so I hope you have one too. And just in case you were wondering, it handles 4K really well. I threw in a quick 4K video, I did speed it up, but I wanted you guys to get an idea of the colors it produces you know, the natural color of a 4K video of nature. And I think it performs really well. So if you're a streamer, whether it's gaming or just streaming 
you, yourself, your personality, this is definitely a good monitor for you. You can do picture in picture for your stream chat while you're gaming or while you're streaming and it has a huge viewing area for editing videos before you actually upload them. This was definitely an easy monitor to set up. I do want to mention though, if you're going from 1080 to 1440, expect that no matter what monitor you get, whether it's this one or a different one, you will be resetting your game settings, rebooting your computer a few times, maybe doing some updates. But remember, just be patient because it was definitely worth it for me and I think it will be for you. So the last game I want to touch on is Metro Exodus. It has one of the best qualities of gaming graphics compared to real life, in my opinion. I get great depth of field while playing and it has amazing texture details. Now, I didn't fire up the HP 25X for this video, but I do have some side by side that I can use here from a previous video to show you guys the difference in monitors playing Metro Exodus. Check this out real quick. Now, I'm not really sure where I land on which one's better. It's hard to tell because one's in person and the other one's in a video. Uh, but I am gonna install this HP back onto my computer once I'm done and I'll put a comment below and tell you how it feels going from 1440 down to 1080. That's where I expect to see the biggest difference. Man, this really just took Metro Exodus up a notch, in my opinion. I get sucked into this game just because it's a good storyline, but with the extra depth and detail, it just seems that much better. So I wanna leave on a high note, but I am gonna tell you guys the cons of this monitor. If you need a more responsive monitor, this may not be for you. And that's a huge asterisk there because it's a four millisecond response time. I couldn't tell the difference, to be honest. Maybe you can. Second, it's not really considered a true gaming monitor, although it performs like one. The specs match what a gaming monitor would be able to do. Third, it doesn't swivel or adjust up and down in just one stationary position, although it does adjust. It just doesn't do it while it's stationary. And last, perhaps the only actual drawback is that the DisplayPort input is a mini DisplayPort. But I will say the HDMI does produce 144 hertz regardless. It's just a pain that I yet again have to go buy another cord because it didn't come in the box. Although the HDMI cord that works with this monitor did come in the box. Really, what determines if this monitor is gonna be good for you is use type. The price is great. The price to performance versus the HP 25X is amazing. You get an additional three inches. I mean, you get the 1440p and you retain 144 hertz. I personally had a really easy time setting this whole thing up and it's honestly fixed a few things for me that I was having issues with. For example, the HP was tearing the screen on my Adobe Premiere Pro every single time I was running at 144 hertz. So I had to right click, change the refresh rate, and then I could go back into Adobe, and it was kind of annoying. So getting that ability out of this right away at 144 hertz is worth it to me. Right now at Best Buy, the HP is $289.99 and the Samsung 27 inch space monitor is $329.99. Now that $50 difference to me is well worth it. And if this guy goes on sale again for $289.99, that's gonna be an even better deal. So I'll put the link down below for you guys to check this out. I really do think this fits a lot of people's budget that are looking for 1440p, and it fits the use type, to be honest. Gamer, streamer, content creator, editor, photographer, all of the above, it does everything. So, hey, if you've made it this far in the video, definitely give it a like and subscribe to our channel. 
Your support is what allows us to keep making this content. So we appreciate it very much. We'll catch you in the next video.